Welcome back to another Life at a Startup. Today was an absolutely insane day. We have a ton to cover, a lot of things to do, a lot of things not to do, a lot of cool stories that I want to share with you guys. It's currently 9.30 at night on January 10th, and I think it's January 10th at least, and I got four hours and 45 minutes of sleep last night, so I'm a little toast. I'm excited to go to bed, but I have to get these videos up and out for you guys and for me because that's what this is for. I want to document what we're doing life at a startup and hopefully people can follow along along the way. So my day started at 6 a.m. for a 7 a.m. flight where we headed out, we flew and saw um, a handful of our properties. And these properties, what was really cool, and I documented all this, and I will be releasing a video. I don't think it'll be on this vlog, but I will release a separate video, um, and I will link to it in a future vlog of all of the different properties that we visited and the things that I learned. But basically, the properties are what I call phase one, phase two, phase three. Um, each of the pro a lot of so each of the properties are obviously in a different phase, but. For, it was cool to see each of the properties in a different phase. So the phase of demolition going on. I got a lot of uh, video of me uh, speaking Spanish and, and learning, teaching what we wanted to demo and not. It was cool. It was fun. Phase two, uh, it was great. Property had flooring done, paint done, baseboards done, countertops done, uh, the rough plumbing done, the rough electrical done. So a lot of really good things on property two. Property three, we had the sinks in, the paint, like all of the previous stuff was done with the sinks in, the rough, the final electrical was going in. So now we really just have to tie up the loose ends, the last five, 10% of the property, like the projects, and then we can get that puppy rented out. So. It, me going to these properties is I've learned it's so important because I can pick up on small things that maybe we need to contract out that's some small unique things per property that um, that aren't normally done so it's super important that me or the team are walking through the properties so we can take meticulous notes so the whole time I'm taking like my like it's a kind of a joke within the company that we hate voice memos like just like holding the button and like just talking into the text message and like letting go um, but I messaged one of my office staff today. I'm like, hey, I need you to kind of like put all of my thoughts into our productivity app so that we can start checking these things off the to-do list because there's a lot of stuff, like there's a lot of stuff that we need to make sure we have con in consolidated format. And so he just like laughed, he's like, LOL, okay. So all day I walked through each of the properties. I had voice memos and it's like, hey, we gotta do X, Y, and Z at ABC property. Or hey, we need an extra baseboard at uh, W property. Uh, we need it like, hey, have the subcontract come back and do X, Y, and Z on property D. So it was like a lot of just really important notes that are hard to pick up unless that you're there. And having me or one of the team or Kevin or somebody walking through these properties uh, on a weekly or who knows how often the basis is, but on a very common like on a very frequent basis is going to be super important. And I, and I figured that out. Uh, so Kevin having the plane is a huge benefit to that. The Kevin having the plane is one of like the biggest hacks to this startup is because we can get anywhere very quickly. And the plane took two trips this morning. It took me where I needed to go and it took Kevin where he needed to go. It, so it was super cool. Anyways, um, that was, yeah, so it's cool because the startup doesn't pay for the plane, just Kevin pays for the plane because the startup has its own costs and Kevin personally bought the plane, not the startup. Very important to distinguish. So that's super cool to, to kind of have that hack um, uh, of Kevin owning the plane and the company not paying a dime for it. It's super cool. So we did that from like seven to two and we flew back. I went over all the notes with my office staff. The office staff, I had them working on their own tasks while I was gone came back, had a team meeting. Um, Kevin was doing an interview. It was just a crazy day, but it was super fun. Um, super fun, highly productive, learned a lot, and learned a lot in terms of like next steps that we need to do. Obviously, I'm still learning about construction, which is why I bring like our heads of construction with me so that they can teach me along the way because it's super valuable. Um, and we can keep, kind of keep these properties on like the like a time crunch, make sure they're done affordably, properly, safely, get those puppies rented out. Um, super exciting, I love doing it. And yeah, so that was honestly from like 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. takeoff is so early, especially because it's so cold, it's just, oh, the whole drive, you're like shivering, it's cold. Um, 
and not getting a lot of sleep is painful, but I love it. I love this stuff. It feels like Friday today, but it's Thursday. Um, that was my morning. The afternoon, like I said, we went through the stuff with the office staff. We went through my notes. We went through their notes. We consolidated notes. We talked. We strategized. We game plan. So that was cool. Um, and we prepared for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow Today feels like Friday. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. And we have another day. So tomorrow's going to be a lot of just making sure these properties just keep going. Keep going. And yeah, as you can tell, we're really sleepy. Um, so something really cool about our office staff. So originally they were our, they were our interns. We told them they, if they interned for a year, we'd promote them after a year. Well, that happened. So I don't like to call them interns anymore because I think it's a little demeaning. So we call them like the office staff or the analysts or whatever. But one of my former interns, now analyst, came up to me because on the way back from dinner tonight, uh, we were just kind of like talking about like goals and like what drives us and stuff. It, it, it's not, it wasn't as weird as it sounds, but like it just naturally came up. And I was like, I want to be the best COO in, in the world. Like that is my goal. Like I, I want to become the best chief operating officer to do it. And <laughs> as we were leaving, he came up to me. He's like, if it means anything, you're the, you're already the best COO in the world. <laughs> I was like, uh, gave me a hug. And I, I thought that was cute. It was funny. Um, but I was like, we just got to build something great. And that that's really what we're doing. A lot of, I love building cool stuff that just lasts. And so seeing these properties um, go through different phases and seeing our office staff really mature into, into the roles and, and to provide a lot of value for the company is awesome. And we're, things are just great. I mean, we're working hard. We um, are optimistic about the future. Um, obviously there's like super like there's always risks and there's always problems to solve and things like that but i mean maybe it's just more of a personality thing it's just like try to solve problems and be happy um now hopefully we can solve problems and be happy with a little bit more sleep under our belt because the amount of caffeine i drank today was not ha- was not sustain is not sustainable not sustainable um i do need to put all the footage together into a into a video format and show you guys kind of like the phase one, phase two, phase three because I think I think that's super valuable to kind of show you guys what I do. Um, so that that was what happened today. I think that I mean obviously towards the end of the night the United States decided to uh, start a mini war or a skirmish. I don't really know what it classified as with the Houthis. Um, with the Houthi group, I think. I, I don't even, like, I've been so detached from geopolitics. Like, I know roughly what's going on. Um, be, obviously, because it's just, like, Kevin is a YouTuber that talks about geopolitics a lot. So I know roughly what's going on. But I'm just so just driven working on these companies that I just have not paid that much attention to it. So hopefully um, things can be resolved quickly, like always. But uh, hopefully things can get settled appropriately and life loss of life will be minimal um and yeah i i that's i mean we had a really good conversation at dinner just about focusing our like we go to dinner a lot that's just like kind of what we do for fun because all of us like all of my office staff and i moved out away from our families to to come build this company and so um we i i think the word term family is used extremely loosely but we're very close knit because like, we've all moved away from our families to work on this project together, and we've all we're all very similar personalities. So we've grown pretty close together. A lot of us are roommates with each other, and so it's we we have a tight bond. Anyways, we have we go to dinner almost every night uh, with like different people go to different times, whatever. Uh, but we we found that as like our form of entertainment. We will go to dinner and we'll just hang out, um, and we had good discussions at dinner, just kind of about personally like where are we at. How are we doing? And then just kind of like deeper philosophical things about how people work, how the world works, and like just hype, funny hypotheticals of just dudes being dudes. So I'm happy. I I personally I'm so exhausted, but like I'm so energetic and happy because things are going well. Um, so I mean, I think I recorded a video this week where the week, the day was more difficult. Um, today is probably, if that was a guess a down episode, I guess you could consider it today an up episode. And I guess the goal is just to record both. 
Discord every day. Um, I got a lot of compliments. I've gotten a handful of compliments, actually multiple compliments today about life at a startup and people think that it's cool, um, a cool idea and a cool concept. I'm provoked. I didn't even ask, what do you think about it? So uh, I've gotten a lot of people telling me that they like this. So I personally enjoyed it. And if I can build um, an audience with you guys watching, we can kind of do this together. I'm grateful. Let's try to do my best. And I hope you guys watching this can be inspired and take lessons from what I do well, what I don't do well, and apply it to what you want to do. But time for bed. Actually, I have to go edit all this stuff. So go to bed, edit, go to bed, wake up, repeat. Also, I will have a cool video for you guys on Saturday. It'll be a Saturday special. I'm not going to leak any secrets. No secrets will be leaked. Uh, mom, if you're watching this, don't tweet it. My mom knows the secret. But Saturday will be a fun day. Um, I will not leak any secrets about my day on Saturday. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow.